that they're both right here you guys can check them out the first video is obviously a review we look at how it looks how it shaders my personal thoughts and how to actually get the armor as well even though i still get comments on people not knowing how to get the armor uh for the shader video it's just all my favorite shaders on the actual armor because if i do all of my shaders it'll take literal like probably like 30 40 minutes just because of the sheer amount of shaders i have and i also have already done the hunter video which is right here i really really like this video i think it's coming out as i'm making this video so yeah it's it's really really good i at least i like the sets that i've made uh same thing goes for the titan armor sets if i'm gonna be honest i think some of them are really really cool but if you guys like the video again like comment subscribe it really does help because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed so if you can do me a favor like comment sub also hit the bell notification because that also does help quite a bit but other than that let's get into it so to start off we're gonna be using the helmet and this one is kind of like a variation of a set that i made in season of the witch if i remember correctly or wish i don't remember particularly but for this one we're gonna be using the biosphere explorer gauntlets with the veritas plate for the boots we're gonna be using the reticule lock ornament for the abeyant leaps and then for the mark tm cogborn custom mark is what we're using so for this one i honestly don't know what the hell i went with uh I guess I, in my head I went with a casual like dragon hunter type of thing. Well, obviously Ahamkara hunter more, but yeah, I don't know where my head went with this one. Like I just looked looked at the helmet and I was like, let my let Jesus take the take the wheel. And apparently this is what Jesus went with. And I don't even hate it because I like it a lot. Shaders Atlantis wash is what we're using because if you wanna have a one to one color for the bones for the uh, biosphere explorer or literally all the bones for all of the sets that we got for this then you're gonna want atlantis wash that's the shader you're gonna want to go for because it is technically a one-to-one -one. i mean not even technically like i i don't i don't see a difference so atlantis wash is the one you want that being said i, I know some people might be annoyed that it's a little bit brighter than usual shaders uh at least for a specific demographic uh for me i don't really care i like the shader a lot because it does reel in that color and make it not terrible that being said bungie just let us change the color i don't think it's outlandish for us to be able to change the bones of ahamkaras just because i mean they move and talk to you i mean the least they can do is change shaders so that's all i'm saying as for the next set, we're going to be using cadmus ridge lance cap with the ornament chivalry's chill and for this one i ended up going for obviously a so here's the weird part is I like everything from actually like I, I like everything but the boots. Let me just say that. I think the boots are a little weird on this set. I don't know what it's probably just the fact that the boots are just a little bit too plain looking. And what I mean by that is the fact that the chest piece and the arms are obviously from the first ascent. But there's like buckles. There's a lot of like visually it's there's a lot going on. And for the boots, there really isn't a lot going on. So I think the best bet would have probably just to have switched to a boot that has like more strappings, more stuff like that. Um, that being said, some people might like this. I definitely like where my head was going for this one. It's just the fact that the boots are just kind of like not in theme with the everything else. I think the mark is fine. Um, I have no particularly like annoyance with it. That being said, it does look a little clean as well, but I guess the biggest thing you could probably do for that would probably just to switch the mark out for something that has like more visual noise in there uh but the boots are definitely like the one thing where i'm like it's not that great uh speaking of boots phoenix strife type o is what we're using um i would suggest this one just because it has more variety for the coloring compared to the uh other one the, there's two of these one of them is the pvp version the other one is the world drop which is the uh the devastation protocol boots which is the other one but it's just has no color variation that being said again i would probably just switch this out for something that has a little bit more straps probably one of the boots from iron banner because that would be really cool that being said i don't know if it would be that good i don't know i would have to like go into the game and actually see but for the mark mark of optimus is what we're using and then yeah for the shader sato tribe is what i'm using just because a i love this shader it's one of the best shaders that came from that season it's one of the best shaders in general and the uh the blue logo the blue goes really hard with the crystals for the beat the beard crystal thing so that's why i'm using sato tribe it's just all around a grid shader so let me know what you guys think about this one i definitely like it um, that being said, I mean, Cadmus Ridgelands cap is not a great exotic, like at all, not even a little bit. So 
Like, well, to be fair, I've heard diamond lances are much more fun this season. I don't know because I don't like to waste my time seeing if something's good or not. That probably reflects more on me than anything else. But I have limited time now. I don't want to just waste my time essentially. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next thing, we're going to be using Safe 14's helmet and the 14th Amnesis. This is a cool ornament if you want to have that rustic, like fucked up look, which is exactly where we're going for considering we're, going, we're using game, Gamekeeper, the shader. Love this shader. And for this one, we're going to be using the First Ascent boots. So this one, I really like this one a lot. Um, the Arms Intrepid Exploit Gauntlets, which this whole set is being sold. So I do really, really recommend this armor because I do think it's amazing uh ring walker plate for the chest piece and then memory of Cade mark so i love all these pieces i definitely love it because it just looks like my guardian just came out of like a punk concert and is just fucking breaking heads bro like i love this set so much i think the only thing that would make it better would probably be like if you don't like the shadering just pick a shader that you like that being said just remember intrepid exploit gauntlets takes a different color than the ring walker plates the which is why i use gamekeeper because a it looks rustic but it also does look well enough that it's like yeah i can see that being the undershirt instead of like the chest piece being red and then the arms being white i'm gonna be like oh is he wearing like a white undershirt kind of gross um so that's why i specifically went for the gamekeeper aside from it being rustic again but yeah i have i just have praise for this one i do think this one is the best one if i'm being quite honest um i do like the other two and the last one is pretty cool it's just that this one like legitimately looks like a character in the universe that's like my biggest com like, not complaint like my biggest compliment to just not myself but to other people is like if i can see this character existing in the universe that's an immediate like dub so yeah, that is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about this set. Definitely one of my favorites so far. And last but not least, we're going to be using Syntheseps with the Flex Enhanced Replicate Ornament. And I'm going to be honest, I think this one's amazing. This one is going to be a super cool uh, SIVA look for me just because A, the Unsated Curiosity Shader goes fucking hard with this set. And if you don't want to use a particular piece, but you want to glow in there, the Unsated Curiosity has a really dark red glow, which is super dope. The Apollo's following helm was an easy choice considering for me, you always want to go with something that has like a skull look for SIVA just because if you guys play Destiny 1, you guys will know that like a lot of the SIVA enemies, specifically the um, the SIVA like Lord thing that you fought in the campaign was just fucking skull and bones with SIVA in it and it looked cool. So that's kind of like what I'm trying to go for. Uh, parade plate for the chest piece I think it's really really cool that being said there are some other pieces you could be using I like this one a lot more just because it's bulky in the back but you could also use the devastation protocol chest piece not devastation protocol yeah devastation protocol chest piece which is the one with the fur or you can use the crucible version because that one has the phoenix engravings which I would prefer that one just because it gives the chest piece a lot more color that being said I don't think you need it with unsated curiosity just because a lot of it is green. So I think uh, Devastation Protocol chest piece would be the correct choice. And then for this one, obviously we're using the mark, the uh, first ascent mark. For the boots, pot Potentiate Threads. This is the ornament that goes with Flex and Haints Replicate. So I think this one is a dub. I don't think this is my favorite um, just because the chest piece could be a little bit better. Um, I don't know where my head went with when I first used this because Siva is definitely not what I was thinking about when I first used this mark. But I like where my head went with this one. I definitely think the Helm of Safe 14 one is just my favorite. Just because it does look like something in-game. Like an NPC type of thing. If your character looks like an NPC. I think that's like the highest compliment someone can give you. Just because it's like wow. Like it, it almost sounds like yeah. It looks like the devs designed this themselves. And it's just like wow it's crazy. And obviously I know they designed the armor itself. But combining like certain armor pieces to make it actually look like it's. A character in game is so hard so let me know what you guys think i definitely think some of these pieces are super super dope um but i do think the titans suffer a little bit more um i do think the warlocks and titan our hunters have it way better than the titans that being said i still made some cool sets let me know in the comments below i do have a lot of things planned i explain it in further depth in the warlock video but needless to say i have videos of armor sets coming out uh, ornaments as well specifically the new exotic ornaments and the new exotics considering they're both in that video i'm going to be doing that because 
there's no point in making two videos if the exotic has the new ornaments we're doing hopefully weapon weapon or uh, reviews fingers crossed and yeah i just have so much content such little time unfortunately but i will be trying to push through all of that so that way i can give you guys the content you guys want that being said i'm thinking about slowing down a little bit um not slowing down but basically taking one of one or two of my days that was destiny and just start playing variety again because i really do want to start putting content for my second channel which that one i just ended up playing a variety of games and just posting it there which is something i'm thinking about doing again because i desperately need more more games in my life destiny 2 is cool right now but i know i'm gonna get burnt out from it and i need to have some backup for it so i will most likely be doing that i'm also thinking about coming back to streaming um which would be exciting i'm thinking about streaming again i don't know how i would be able to do it hopefully we can get either a new room or remove out that would probably be annoying yeah there's a lot of things that i'm currently going through in my head but let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i'll see you guys later